again, this is Rod Champion South Holston River Fly Shop. I'm going to show a little leech or woolly burger pattern that I started playing with this summer. Matt found a good many leeches in the river, so I began to think about tying something that moved like a leech, looked like a leech. Um, came up with this little thing and it worked real well. It worked real well on high water and uh, I've known a good number of guys have taken it and caught a lot of fish on low water. Uh, you can do it in a olive, seems like an olive tail is one of the big keys. Body anywhere from gray to dark brown to black. Uh, and then the winging on it be a uh, barred uh, brown or even black. So we're taking woolly booger, woolly booger marabou. Going to get a pinch about the length of the tail. Million ways to do woolly booger marabou. This one right now just seems to be the easiest one. Make it about the length of the hook. Tie it in. Pinch it and hold it till you get it tied in. We just had to edit one because I didn't pinch it and hold it. So pinch it and hold it. Clip off the excess. You can use a an amnesia loop back here or some kind of mono loop and it's good. I didn't on this video. You can come up under the tail with your with your thread and kind of pop it up some and that works. The amnesia will definitely work. So I've got a good fluffy woolly burger tail on it or a leachy tail on it. Now this is black. This is black mohair, leech yarn, whatever. Um, I would rather it be uh, maybe olive or brown, but black works very well. Tie it in. Now tie it in at the front. You can tie it in at the front because it'll kind of build your body up a little bit more. And then wrap it back. Come back to the thread, to the front. Leave just a little bit of room. Yeah, I saw that happening when I did it. So let's do it again. We will edit that part out. That leech yarn splits, and it will split sometimes. You can't be too rough with leech yarn. It'll just do that sometimes. Kind of do it a lot more gentle when you're putting it in because it's got separate strands of thread in there but I do like to start at the front do it back stop it before you get to the very front of the the bead behind the bead stop it because you're going to tie something in I'm bad about using a rotary vise totally unnecessary for this I like to twist the yarn just a little bit I don't know if you see just to make it a little more compact and come in here and build your body. Not too thin and not too fat. Kind of taper, <clears throat> taper it a little bit as you go. Alright, that's a good body. That's a good body. Of course you see that leech yarn is going everywhere. And uh, that seems to be one of the keys on it. If it's too, too fluffy, I'll need to get rid of a little of it. Now we're coming in with... with uh, Wapsie Grizzly Marabou, a little small. They're actually calling it this Grizzly Marabou Brown. But it's small marabou. And it wraps at the collar and it makes a good wrap. Come get you a piece like that. Come off some of the. Alright. Come in with it, tie it in. I don't know if you can see that good, but it's it's tied in and straight up and down, and I'm going to palmer it, make a collar out of it. Whether this works better than a straight woolly booger, I don't know. It just was very effective to me this summer. Then you come in here and you're going to make a turn and a half to two turns of this. Get it started good. If you wet it good, it'll lay back on you fairly well. 
I'm going to do one more turn because I missed the first one some. I'll promise you there is no exact science to this fly. It is not the prettiest fly you'll ever fish. Of course, leeches aren't the prettiest bug you'll ever see either. But it has the good movement is what's so beautiful about tie it down. That's actually a pretty good one. I'm Zappa Gap. I've tied 40 years and never learned how to use a, a tool. So I just come in here with Zap. Can't teach old dogs new tricks. I don't know. I'll half fish it and I'm done. And that right there. Oh, I hope that wasn't in front of it. But that right there is a uh, a leech or a booger or something that will catch fish on the South Holston. This can be a black bead, very effective as a black bead. I'm at home with the flu, so I don't have the big black bead. I just have this gold one. Gold will work fine, uh, but the black works extremely well. So uh, I guess I would call that rods leech. Be call it anything you want to as long as it catches fish.